Hi, this is Darnell with Waylon Recipes, and today I'm going to be making some fried chicken strips in the Breville Combi Wave 3 in 1. This microwave convection oven air fryer, we're going to see what it can do frying up some chicken strips from cut chicken breasts right now. Alright, so what I'm doing here, I'm making a egg wash and a breading first for my uh, fried chicken strips. I've got here two large eggs with two tablespoons of water mixed together and here I've got one cup of all-purpose flour, one cup of yellow cornmeal, and a tablespoon of freshly cracked black pepper. Also got an ounce of Obey seasoning I'm going to be mixing in. You can use whatever seasonings you prefer for flavoring your uh, your breading that you like. Also I've got some cooking spray I'm going to be spraying the chicken strips with to help get things real nice and crispy. So this point I've got everything mixed except my Obey into my breading so just get my Obey mixed into here and so the Obey gives it a slightly more orange color to the breading as that gets mixed in just a little bit more of an orange color the egg wash will help this breading to stick on really well to help with moisture also helps give a nicer flavor to things. You can also, if you prefer, do like a buttermilk egg wash as I've done in some other videos in air frying. And so I think we've got things pretty well mixed together here for our breading. So with the breading and the egg wash all, all mixed together good, at this point I get my chicken out. So I'll bring you back once I have the chicken. Alright, so I've got myself two boneless skinless chicken breast halves here. And I'm basically going to cut these lengthwise, cut them into strips. And when you do your own, you know, from whole chicken breast, you can basically make your strips the size that you want, you know, as big as you prefer, rather than something that's like a preset size. So it's nice to be able to just cut your own down and make them the size that you prefer. So getting this cut here, basically making making about four strips out of each. This one's a little bigger. Maybe we'll make, we might be able to get five out of this, we'll see. But you basically want to have between eight and ten strips total is what I'm aiming for here. Alright, so we got that one cut. Let's see. This one, we can leave this one kind of at the size it is. So basically we've gotten eight strips. If you have like bigger chicken strip, I mean chicken breast, you probably could get ten out of them. So now what I do from this point, I'm going to get each chicken breast strip mixed up in my egg wash and in my breading. And so after I get them all each mixed up in the egg wash and the breading, then I'll be able to spray some cooking spray on each of them to get them, you know, nice and covered and ready for air frying. You can also, if you prefer, if you're one who wants to give them a longer soak, you know, you could soak them in your egg wash in the refrigerator, you know, even overnight if that was something you wanted to do. Just make sure you keep your egg wash cool. All right, we got everything battered. Now it's time to get some cooking spray on them on all sides. All right, we've got those all uh, sprayed up. So now let's move over to the Breville Combi Wave. Okay, so here I have the Breville Combi Wave with the crisper pan that's used for air frying with its legs out. And I'm gonna put that into the Breville Combi Wave now. And this starts to preheat for air fry. So got that closed up and we'll take you in close here on the display, show you what I'm doing. I'm going to hit the air fry button and it tells me to use the pan legs. 
the temperature defaults to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm going to up that, well, I'm going to up that, but first up the time to 30 minutes. So we move in the time with this dial here. And so get that up to 30 minutes. And now I'm going to up the temperature to 450. So we're going to do 450 degrees for 30 minutes. I hit start by pressing this button. It does a three minute preheat and it's just really using the microwave to heat the pan up real hot. It heats the pan on 100% microwave and that really gets the air fry pan really hot. And then you'll see later when we actually start cooking, it's going to not use the microwave when it's air frying and it'll use its air frying capabilities. All right, the preheat's coming to an end. And so as soon as it starts its cook phase, I open up and get that pan out that's been superheated by the microwave. Start putting all my chicken strips that are gonna be air fried into the crisper pan. And they get nice and crispy. So we'll see if we can, Lord willing, get them all in without any hassle. You wanna have maybe a little space. It looks like you know, maybe one chicken strip would fit very comfortably. I'm trying to squeeze in two and we'll see whether I can successfully or not. But got a lot of chicken here, so you know, with two you may want to choose to give it two runs, or you may want to just do like me and just squeeze it all in one and see what happens anyway. So I'm just gonna try and squeeze it all in. It's getting kind of tight, but what I have left is a small bit, so not a lot, not a lot left. Just make a little room here for this one. And we've got them all in. Pan's getting kind of hot in my hand, but not too hot yet. So that should work. We'll just put that in there like that. Close up and going to hit start. And now that things are actually cooking, we see it counting down and only the air fryer is running. And so basically, you know, it got things superheated with the microwave, it gave that heating element probably, I would imagine, some time to get warmed up as well. And so now just the air fryer runs at 450 for 30 minutes. I'll have to flip halfway through, so I will bring you back when it's time to do some flipping. All right, we're almost halfway in, almost done with 15 minutes. And so at this point, once it gives me the little chime, and there it is, I'm going to open up and flip these over now. You can see how things are cooking so far. They're looking like they're coming along well. I mean, look at that. They're doing good. So just going to get these all flipped over. And, you know, so they get an even cook on both sides. Let's get these all flipped. Almost done got uh, after this one a few more and we're done flipping and that's even with this crisper pan I mean load it as far as you pretty much can load it with food it's still air frying pretty good so not really impeded by things being loaded up I'm happy to see that all right we've got it all uh, flipped over get it back in there close it up that nice uh, soft close, hit start, and I'll bring you back when this cook's done. All right, the 30 minute cook's almost finished, so I'm going to get in here right now. I'm gonna use my Thermapen to check temperature. Have a look, they look pretty nice. Thermapen says temperature is 195, 201. I mean, we're real hot. So we're real crispy and we're real hot. That's cool. So now I can basically get one of these plated for a taste test. So I'll just plate this one here. Just get it up there for taste testing. The rest of these I'll just set aside. But let me get the camera moved and we'll taste test. Alright, you still hear the Breville Combi Wave doing its cool down in the background, so I apologize for that, but it does cool down after it's done. It takes a little while to do its cool down thing. But anyway, we've got our air fried chicken breast strip here, 
And it did it in about the time that a normal air fryer would. A normal air fryer would take maybe 25 minutes. So maybe five more minutes, you know, maybe 20, you know, maybe 33 minutes when you count the preheat, but still pretty decent time for a combination cooker to be able to, you know, use its microwave to heat up that crisper pan real nice and hot. And then it, you know, does its air fry thing. It's a pretty innovative product. And so we have a chicken breast strip here. Let's do a taste. still pretty hot pretty hot and pretty good you do know when I air fry I like to get it really hot to try and get a really nice crust on things so I don't mind things going over the normal temperature for meat when I'm air frying when I'm grilling I try and get it more to the you know perfect temperature for that meat but air frying I go a bit above because you know we're like frying it up and so it comes out nice it comes out with just a little bit of crisp not a whole lot of crisp, but a little, there is a little bit of crisp in here. I've done, you know, air fried fish. It came out a bit on the soggier end. This one came out just a little bit of crisp to it, which is kind of nice. And so it turned out pretty good. And so I really do, you know, I'm more impressed than I thought I would be with the Breville Combi Wave air frying. I thought that, you know, air frying chicken breast strips would probably come out uh, a little bit you know real soggy and probably not as good and loading up the crisper pan like that you know might be too much for it might overwhelm it but it turned out good fully filled up and so I'm impressed that's all I can say I'm impressed it really can air fry it really can microwave it really bakes it it's a great combination cooker is all I have to say and uh, you know I'm kind of happy that the things with the Amazon smart oven didn't work out and it didn't work as well as it I thought it would so that I could get this because this is so much better and this one is so good so I'm you know I'm really impressed with this cooker and initially I didn't think that the Breville Combi Wave was necessarily going to be worth over 400 bucks for a, you know a microwave that does combination cooking but it really to me is worth it for all that it does it's really worth it so I really do like it I wish that it was something that you could get on Amazon through a referral link for me but they don't sell it through Amazon. They only sell it through select, um, like Best Buy and Williams Sonoma. I think the only places I can think of that really sell it right now. But anyway, you can find referral links for other cookers in the video description. Pay the same price. Help this channel. You can get this recipe and others on my blog at superwaveovenrecipes.com. You can always come to this YouTube channel directly by going to waveovenrecipes.com. I'm on Twitter and Instagram at waveovenrecipes. And if you like this video, Please do give it a thumbs up, share the video with a friend, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, and good eating.